Chairman, and thank you, Ranking Member. And uh, thank you, Madam Secretary, for uh, your testimony, for being here today. Uh, I know uh, you know all too well how important uh, liquefied natural gas is uh, to Louisiana, uh, my home state. It's res responsible for over 60% of the LNG produced and exported from the United States is from Louisiana. So I'm here to talk to you about that today. Um, I proudly witnessed the growth of Louisiana's energy industry as my state has emerged as a global energy leader, as well as a top LNG exporter. In 2021 alone, oil and gas contributed over 54 billion throughout our state's economy and accounted for 21% of our gross domestic product. However, I echo the concerns my colleagues have shared surrounding this administration's catastrophic decision to delay consideration of new LNG terminals in the US. This administration's decision has hampered Louisiana's growth and potential, directly hurting Louisianans. Furthering these restrictions on growth in our energy sector increasingly strains our markets, eliminates Americans' jobs, and threatens our national security. As you may have heard me say in the past, Americans deserve better. Louisianans deserve better. The administration should embrace the opportunity to turn the page on these short-sighted energy policies and begin to empower all types of energy pro projects instead of picking losers and winners. It's time to get true energy policy on the table. Madam Secretary, I'd like to ask you about the new studies the department will undertake on LNG exports as part of the pause. You've stated it would take months to conduct new studies, but I'm concerned that it may take much longer. I understand that it took 19 months for the DOE to complete the 2015 macroeconomic study, from DOE's first announcement to its publication in the Federal Register. Do you stand by your statements that this will take a few months? And do I have your commitment that the study will be completed and published in the Federal Register this calendar year? Um, we are moving with alacrity on this because it is important to get answers to these questions. We are engaging our national labs. Um, it will not take as long as the previous uh, studies have taken. Uh, the questions that have to be considered are complicated. Since the last study was done, we were only exporting four BCF of LNG, and we are now exporting 14 BCF per day. And with another 12 BCF uh, that is under construction, and another 22 BCF that on top of that that's been authorized. So we have 48 BCF that's already been authorized. And the questions that we have to consider are, if we uh, were exporting the level of authorization, what would that do to prices at home? If we were exporting the level of authorization, or even now, how does that impact our allies? Uh, how do we make sure that they have the adequate supplies of energy that they need? Uh, so these questions come on both sides. What does it do with respect to the life cycle analysis of these terminals and climate change uh, communities on the ground? All these questions, we've gotten letters from all sides on, the, on this issue. So it's important that we do this right because this will set up the means for us to evaluate authorizations into the future as we're required to do under the Natural Gas Act, what is in the public interest. Uh, are, are you confident it will happen this calendar year? Um, I'm. I'm confident that it will happen close to this calendar okay. year. I can't, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to put a hard uh, date on it because I'm, uh, I don't want to, you know, I want it to be done right. Okay. But it will be done soon. Sure. Um, many Louisianans are hoping for this okay. calendar year. So uh, let me ask you an additional question about that study. My understanding is the Pacific Northwest Lab will be responsible for updating life cycle analysis of greenhouse gas emissions of projected US, U.S. LNG exports. However, the 2014 and 2019 reports were conducted by the National Energy Technology Lab, as you mentioned. Is the Pacific Northwest Lab conducting the life cycle analysis for the updated study? And if so, can you explain why National Energy Technology Lab isn't involved when they have carried out the previous two studies? They are involved. Okay. In fact, uh, Nettle is involved, uh, PNNL is involved, and we may loop in uh, other labs too, depending on uh, the level of complexity of the question. But, but the National Energy Technology Lab is definitely involved. Okay, well that uh, completes my questioning. I yield back to the chairman, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lett.